Hello guys, welcome back, Aces Ghost 1, with part number 2 of the How to Make a CS Ghost Server. I'm literally making this video right after the first one. If you didn't see the first one, go watch the first one, so you know how to set the server up. Anyways, I left off telling you guys that we're gonna, we're gonna get this so that your friends can connect. Uh, your online buddies, play online with your friends, from anywhere, really. Um, but what you want to do is you want to head over to Google Chrome or whatever your search engine is and you want to go to steam community.com slash dev slash manage game servers this is a very 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 important step I just tested this to make sure it works because I honestly never had to do this because this was a new system implemented by Valve I don't know how long ago maybe last month uh, but I, I never ran a CSGO, I didn't run a CSGO server last month, but this is a new thing they implemented. But it's, it's pretty simple. So, you're going to come to this website, and I'm actually going to delete mine. So this is what you're going to see when you first get to the website. I'm going to have a link in the description below. All the links that I use and I tell you you need to go to will be in the description below, just in case you know. Or just so you know. But you're going to see create a new game server account. So you want to go here and it says 730 for CSGO. 730. That's it. Memo. Text over the account just shown here to help you keep keep track. We're just going to do YouTube tutorial. As I can't type. YouTube tutorial server. And you just click create. That's it. Now it's going to give you your login token. Steal my token. I don't care because this token's not going to be valid after this but it's gonna give you a login token now this is a very 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 important part of this so you're gonna take your login token and you're gonna head over to your run dot batch file this this windows batch file run dot bat and right click it edit with notepad plus plus so when you open your run dot batch this is gonna be the first thing you see okay this you need to take this and where it says login token, you want to put your login token. You want to save it. Okay, that's all you got to do. If I'm too lazy and I don't include it in the CFG file, it'll be in the description below. So make sure you check the description and all that. But this is where it'll be. Set Steam account. All this. And you've just put in your login token. So this token, you just want to take this. Put that there. Where it says... That's what it's going to look like. You just take your token, copy that, paste it over, and save it. That's all you got to do. Now, we're done with that. We got our login token, whatever. Now we need to focus on port forwarding. Honestly, I don't care if you see my IP, whatever. I don't care. It's whatever to me. So you're going to head to your default gateway. Most of the time it's 192.168.1.1. And you just want to sign into your router. Uh, a lot. There's... Routers have defaults, like admin, admin, user, 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 password, admin, ad, yeah. They, they vary. Uh, mine is a Linksys E1200, so you just want to, whatever model your router is, just see if you can find the default password for that, unless somebody in your family changed it. If somebody did, just ask them. So, for my router, port forwarding is very simple. I just go to applications and gaming. You might have to look around for it, but this is most likely what it's going to look like. So... I'm actually going to take all this out here at the top because it's we don't need this. Um, I'm going to be putting ones in because uh, my router doesn't allow me to put anything under a one. So this is what your thing is going to look like. It's going to look like it's probably going to be empty. It's not going to let me put that. Okay. Your your two IP address is going to be empty. Um, or with zero or something like that. It all depends on your router. I don't really know. You're going to have to figure out... Some, some of you are going to have to figure out this port forwarding on your own. This is just for my router. But when you get in, all this will be empty. Ignore all this jazz. I just don't want to lose all my things. But you're going to type CSGO1. Or CSGO. CSGO1. CSGO2. CSGO 3. 
That's all you really need. Now, in the external port for the regular CSGO, you want to put 27015, 27015. And you want to link it to whatever your IP address is. So you want to go to CMD, and you want to type IP config. And right here, you're going to see your local, or your, I mean your IPv4 address. So this is what you need to put in there. Mine defaults all this, and then I just have to put the final three. So that's what you're going to put in there. For CSGO 1, 27016. CSGO 2, 27018. Or 7. I, two, wait, what did I just do? 27017. CSGO 3, 27018. 27018. And you would just click Save Changes, but I'm not going to do that. I don't want to lose all the ports I already have. So you would click Save. It'll save it. And there you go. Your server is now port forwarded and people are now able to connect to you online. Um, so let me show you this real quick. I will see you over in Counter-Strike. And here we are in Counter-Strike. I have run my server. The server is now running. It should be online. It should be. So same thing as what we did in the last one. You want to check your LAN. There it is. DE Nuke. Internet. I'm just going to do DE underscore nuke. And you can see right there, there's my server showing up in the internet server list. You can, you can tell because my ping's really low. That's my server right there. Everything went to plan. The login token. If you get confused, leave comments in the be below. And all your friends will be able to connect to this and if they don't find it in the server browser I forgot to say this if your friends cannot find it in the server browser you're gonna have to go to google.com and type in what is my IP it's gonna give you a public IP address I don't care if you see this because I, I, I don't care and you're gonna type connect well you're gonna tell your friends to type connect you're gonna give them your public IP and they're gonna press enter and it should start to connect them uh, the main reason it's probably not connecting me here is because of the fact that it could be running on a different port. So this is something you have to watch for. That's why we port forwarded all those ports. Sometimes it'll just run. Yep, right there. That's our problem. It's running on 27016. You have to watch what port your server runs on. And you have to give them the port. So it would be connect, and then they'd put the two dots, and then the port. This is my public IP address through this port. Connect, I'm connecting online to my server. There we go. We're loading in. Your friends will easily be able to connect and play Counter-Strike with you. Hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. I literally am like going to be sleep deprived tomorrow because I was being helpful. Uh, if you don't know how to get rid of the bots, go watch the older episode. Episode, no, you know, part one of this tutorial. You know, this way you, you get... How to get rid of the bots, but we're gonna keep the bots. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Aces Ghost One. Uh, out. Drop a like. Subscribe. Favorite. And do all that. I don't care. Like. I obviously do care. I love all of you. Hope I helped a couple people. If you have any problems, leave comments below. I'm awful with outros. Hope you understand. See you guys later.